2013 HKTDC Hong Kong Book Fair welcomed a record-breaking 560 exhibitors from 30 countries and regions. Under the theme, Reading the World, Reading for a Better World, this year's fair featured more than 400 cultural events and 300 speakers, including several acclaimed authors. Sir David Tang led a public forum featuring prominent writers Erica Jung, American author of the bestseller Fear of Flying. British writer Jun Chang, best known for Wild Swans, Three Daughters of China, and William Shawcross, the official biographer of the Queen Mother Elizabeth. Prince Charles writes long, long letters like his grandmother did, but his son, Prince William, is never, I don't believe, writes letters at all. He sends emails and texts, and uh, that's going to be impossible to, for biographers, and, and it's going to be very hard to trace texts and uh, um, emails. Are we not uh, hearing that all our emails have been stored <laughs> somewhere? Very good point. I think you print out your emails, you autograph them, and you keep them in a file. While Granto winners Joanna Cavana and Louis de Bernier, author of Captain Corelli's Mandolin, also drew large crowds. The forum by author of the year Chen Kun Chung was a highlight at the week-long fair. The author of the best-selling novel, The Fats Years, has released his latest novel, The Unbearable Dream World of Champa the Driver, which is set in Tibet and looks at China's ethnic tensions. Another highlight was a seminar by Hong Kong film director Wong Kar Wai and Taiwanese author Chang Da Chun on film, literature and martial arts. This history is hidden to people in the mainland. Veteran journalist Mark O'Neill showcased his new novel about his grandfather's four decades in China as a missionary. My main audience for this book is not the English speaking it is the Chinese market, because grandfather came here to speak to the Chinese market. We have given it to many friends in the mainland, and I must say their reception is even stronger than people here and in Taiwan. For them, this is news. This is new information. Other highlights of the HKTDC Hong Kong Book Fair include the 50th anniversary exhibition of the Chinese literary character Wisely, featuring the manuscripts, book covers, and other memorabilia of its creator, Hong Kong writer Ni Kuang. Catering to tech-savvy readers, ebook vending machines debuted at the 2013 fair. Using smart card payment, readers simply scanned the QR code to download the book. Free downloads of more than 160 e-books were on offer. But the ultimate high-tech treat was this 3D exhibition of the Morgao Caves in Dunhuang. The animated 3D exhibition featured a 360-degree panoramic projection theatre. Using virtual reality technology, the exhibition offered a close-up look at 1,000-year-old Buddhist wall paintings at the World Heritage Site in northwest China. This exhibition isn't just about showing off the latest technologies. It's really about a new, sustainable approach to experiencing the caves as murals in the real caves at Dunhuang could be damaged by human breath and rising humidity. Award-winning photographer Ira Chaplin also preserved history with his photos that record the hustle and bustle of life in Hong Kong. It was quite inspirational for me. I've had a lot of people that have taken a look at my book that, that used to, that grew up in Hong Kong or grew up in Kowloon and have been away for a while and they were so excited. Another exciting journey was on offer with travel writer James Hong, who shared his adventures in North Korea. Hong managed to smuggle photos out of the country that gives an insight into life there. I'm not satisfied with the ordinary tour itinerary. I am looking more for the adventure side. So North Korea is like an adventure in a game, you know? You don't find this kind of a big brother is watching you in the real world, but you can find in North Korea right now in 2013, you know? It's like a fantasy world.